Hello class. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to restore a photo. This is our project three and uh, I have uploaded the project specs onto D12. So just wanted to go over the objective first. So the objective is the student will use the clone and patch tool in Photoshop to correct the image provided. I have uploaded the image onto your project folder so you download that and open it up in Photoshop. The student will further correct brightness and contrast of the image and crop the outer edges to emphasize the focal point of the image. The final size will be 5 by 6.25. Um, okay, so the requirements is uh, to remove the blurred over uh, the blurred ovals um, on the photo uh, to crop in a tighter size to fix the woman's hair the shoes to be lightened to fix the scratches the dust um, on the photo and the dark areas at the top to be lightened okay so the directions are to use the patch and clone tools as, show, as shown in class which I'm going to show you to remove unwanted scratches, lines, or blurs from the image. The brightness and contrast drop-down tool will be used to lighten the entire image as well as individual selections. <clears throat> so the uh, grayscale, the mode is grayscale and the resolution is 150 dpi, which means dots per inch. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Photoshop you should um, be able to see uh, to download this image um, so let's go ahead and um, first thing I would do I'm gonna move me over here um, first thing I would do is create a create a duplicate of the image the reason why is because if you mess up, at least you can go back to the original. So the fast way of doing this, if you just click and drag that file into the new, create new file, it should, uh, I don't know if it did anything or, there it goes. Okay, so if you click and drag it into the create new file uh, icon, it should create a duplicate, okay? So uh, now that I have my duplicate and to fix, I guess the first things are the dust and scratches, which I don't really see much. Okay. Okay, well, let's first um, get rid of these ovals that are around here. So, um, the first tool I want to show you is the the patch tool, which is this one right here, or the the healing brush. Um, if you click and hold down, you can see there's some other ones like the patch tool. But the healing brush, um, what that does, if you um, like I said, if you uh, hit the brackets, small or large, kind of works like a brush. So uh, what you do is go over the, for instance, this area right here. If you click over it, it starts to disappear. What it's doing is grabbing the pixels around it and it's kind of um, uh, duplicating what's around it. Okay, so um, it doesn't always work, but you kind of have to test out which one works better if it's um, see it didn't quite work well there but um, if you have dust and scratches that works the healing this uh, um, healing patch spot healing is for little spots so um, that one works best for that um, but you can try it and see which ones works best for you now the other one, the one that this is the one that I use the most. This one's really, really tricky. So what this assignment is going to show you is 
so much patience okay so you have to be very patient and um, just understand that this project and the next project is going to be very technical okay so we won't start getting creative until we're oh, we're done with this project and the next project and then we can start being creative because we have to learn the tools before we start using them okay so I know this is this one especially is one of the ones that just drives my students crazy because they want to start already playing with the tools and I, I know that the ones that we've already done have been a lot more fun than this one but you must do it okay that's the only way we can get uh, over using some of these uh, tools and and um, just getting more familiarized with them okay so this next one is really tricky because um, this is the clone tool okay it looks like a little stamp right icon you click on that and again you can use your brackets to make the brush bigger or smaller and what you're doing is you have to hold down um, you have to click down you have to hold down uh, option and click or out I think it's alt for for a PC so do you see that the little plus sign that's where it's grabbing the pixels from okay from from that distance okay now if I keep on going up okay it looks like it's it's working perfect but watch where that little plus sign is that's where it's grabbing so if I start cleaning up here it's recreating that blur circle up there okay so sometimes doesn't work perfectly it's not magic so sometimes you have to hold down alt again and click and this time you're coming from the right so wherever it's clean that's where you want to grab your pixels from okay so I'm looking at this area and I say okay well it's clean here so I hold down alt and then click now I've created it's kind of like that's where my selection is going to be coming from so do you see where that little plus line little plus sign is it's telling me I'm grabbing my pixels from here okay and that's what it's doing so if I'm if I do uh, out from here and I'm going up here it's going to be recreating that pattern at the bottom okay does that make sense See, doesn't quite work that way. So you don't just hit out, hold down out, click, and then start um, doing that. And it's just going to magically work everywhere. It doesn't work that way. You have to, you have to um, be patient. And once you clean a section, uh, then you hold down out and select from there and continue. Does that make sense? So wherever you're working from so see how I'm gonna continue since I've cleaned this up I'm gonna continue going towards the right I don't want to start from this side going this way okay so that's how I'm going to clean up the sky now that's the easiest part I mean it starts getting a little bit uh, uh, hard in this area right here so you're gonna probably have to use um, what I would do I would add another layer and what I would do is with white just create a brush and if you hit like it's a small brush if you click and then uh, you hold down shift and click again it's gonna create a straight line okay what I'm gonna do in the end is that layer I'm going to make the opacity very low to where it kind of mimics the other what it used to look like before so now do you see where that line used to be it's a little bit lighter and I can go on and now um, fix some of those uh, lines like that or just paint over it so we don't see that line come through so this is the before and after. Okay, does that make sense? 
So that layer, you have to make sure you're on the right layer because it's so easy to get lost in all these layers. So um, that's how you do that. I know I'm making this look a lot easier than it is. <laughs> I know it's hard. Okay, so uh, then after we're done with, uh, you know, if you're in layers, remember, you might get really frustrated. You start working on something. You don't see what's going on. You have to be on the right layer. So this is the actual photo. So this is where I want to be um, trying to fix this right here. So I'm going to get the um, clone and I'm going to hit uh, out, click, and I'm going to be trying to fix this part right here. Just click and click. So um, and if I make a mistake, remember we have um, the history. And so do you see where I started here before and after kind of looks like it went away a little bit right um, so that's how you do that with the clone tool and you're gonna do the same thing here so you just have to get some you know hold down out and just sometimes it doesn't have to look perfect it could just look like you know I mean it's a it's a texture of a rock so uh, as long as you can get um, some of that to look like it disappeared, you know. Um, and the same thing here. I would grab pixels from this side, go this way, like that. Okay. Um, and the tricky part's gonna be over here because there's a lot of texture. So just do your best. But um, that's based. You're gonna have to fix this part in here, and and uh, this is. I'm giving you plenty of time to do this. Okay. So um, just have patience. You're not going to get the tools, uh, a good handle of the tools right away. I'm telling you, it's going to be very, very frustrating. So um, just, if anything, this, this project is going to teach you about patience. I keep on saying that because it, I understand how fr frustrating it is. Always remember, as you're working, to create a snapshot. There might be, you might have gone into a deep end and you don't want to start all over but then you've already messed up so much that you can't go back or uh, you can only go back so many steps. So make sure that you, as you go on, if you click on this, it creates a snapshot. So as you work, create snapshots and go back and forth and see where, if you can salvage any, any of your work. And um, as you go on, Continue to, if you are creating layers, make sure that you save it as a Photoshop for yourself. And then at the end, you will make a JPEG. And this time I have created a Dropbox because I don't feel like it's it's not that creative. So we're not going to share it uh, in a discussion. You're just going to uh, drop it off and, and show me what you've done. Um, I guess we could have created a discussion, but I just didn't feel like it was uh, one of those projects that you that you, I mean, it's not that creative. So, but I'm sure some people can make this look, restore this really great, and it could look like new. So that's, uh, I mean, we could have done that. But, okay, so when you're done, now you go to uh, fix the contrast a little bit. So you go to image, and the mode is already grayscale, so you don't have to change anything. So go to adjustment, and there's several ways of, uh, of fixing the the uh, um, the contrast. And one way is levels. With levels, you can uh, make the darks darker and the light, uh, the whites brighter. Or you can use this one right here. Okay, depending on. You can play around with that. So this is the preview. So this was the before and after. So you decide what up to where you'd like it, uh, you know, where you feel like it looks better. Then you say, well, I'm going to say cancel because I'm going to show you also the other one, which is, I use this one, curves. I don't know why. I just, you know, there's, in Photoshop, there's, so many ways of doing the same thing it just whatever works for you okay whatever you feel comfortable with but this one you kind of move these curves up here and then you create other ones um, 
and just find a, a middle ground. Just just play around with um, these dots and see before and after. See where you, if you like it. You don't want to do too much, too much contrast because it, it starts losing uh, detail. So just choose a comfortable um, tone. You say okay. And then when you want to resize this, because right now the image is, uh, if you go to image size, the image is 5.64 by 7. And as we know, we'd like to create our um, final one. It's supposed to be 5 by 6.25. So in order to do that, you want to go to image canvas size. And um, so we're going to make it what? Uh, five by 6.25. So it's slightly smaller. And what it's doing, what it's saying here is that the, it's anchored to the center. So that means that as soon as it crops off, it's going to crop off throughout the whole um through the center so it's going to crop off evenly around the whole image now if I would have chosen this it means it would have cropped off most of the top off and if I would have chosen this it would have cropped off most of the bottom off so because I want it centered it's going to crop off evenly around the whole image so I say okay and it's going to tell me that it's going to crop it off and we're going to say proceed and so once we get to this point, we want to say file, save for web, wait, cancel. What dimensions and see image size. So the resolution is 150, which is what we wanted. So uh, like I said, file, save for web, JPEG is fine. And so you save it to wherever it is that you save your images, your desktop or your folder or your flash drive, save it and upload it to D2L and that should be fine, okay? So I'm giving you plenty of time to work on this and I know it's gonna be very frustrating so just please um, just, just bear with me on these next few projects. This one and the next one is not, it's gonna be very, very technical so just want you to be very familiar with the tools and by the time we get to the next project we're going to be a lot more um, creative okay uh, call me or email me if you have any questions other than that have a great day okay take care bye